What's up achievers, Jason Pack here. Today I'm gonna to give you three tips to improve your kettlebell press. All right, so whether or not you're gonna be using a kettlebell or a dumbbell or a barbell or whatever implement you might be using, today's tips I'm gonna give you are gonna help you achieve a stronger press. Now the three tips I'm gonna talk about today are concepts and principles that I learned from Strong First. Strong First is an organization that teaches strength through kettlebells, barbells, and body weight training. So if you're looking to delve into a little bit deeper on what I'm gonna talk about today, definitely check out strongfirst.com and look for an instructor or look for a one day course or look for a certification coming into an area near you. All right, so let's get right into it. Tip number one is going to be forearm positioning. Now it might seem a little bit simplistic, but it can be really easy when you're kettlebell pressing or dumbbell pressing to start pressing and have that forearm sort of chicken wing out to the side. What happens then is, first of all, you create a worse leverage position for yourself because now you're pressing this way instead of purely vertically, but also your shoulder starts to shrug up as well and puts it in a really vulnerable position. To do your best, whether or not you're holding a kettlebell or a dumbbell or even a barbell, to keep your wrist stacked directly over your elbow. That vertical forearm position is gonna help lead to a stronger press because now you're gonna be a lot more efficient. You're not gonna be fighting against yourself and also it's gonna be just a better leverage position for you. So do your best to try to keep your forearm vertical in that rack position and maintain that positioning as you start to press overhead. Second tip is the concept of wedging. Conceptually, what you wanna think about as you're pressing overhead is not just thinking about pushing that implement overhead, but actually think about driving yourself underneath the implement as you're pressing it. What ends up happening if you only think about pressing overhead is you ne totally neglect your base, your core and your foundation. So as you start pressing because of your lack of base, your shoulder starts to shrug up and you start to recruit other muscles to try to help out during the press. So instead what you wanna think about is really pushing down into the floor as much as possible while you're driving that bell overhead. And that's gonna lead to a lot stronger of a press because you're taking into account your whole body. We teach this concept with deadlifting as well. So instead of just thinking about pulling up on a barbell, we actually coach our members to really grip tightly onto the barbell and push the floor away from them. This act of wedging themselves between the floor and the barbell really helps to generate a lot more force and a lot more tension. This concept can be a little bit difficult to learn and understand. So one drill that we really like to use is the doorway press. What you want to do is set yourself up underneath some sort of immovable object, whether that's a doorway or a pull-up bar, some sort of framing that you could push up against. You don't want your arms totally locked out. So if that framing is a little bit too tall, set yourself up on some sort of step or box. What you're going to do is you're going to put your hand on that framing and from there slowly and progressively push into that door frame or that pull-up bar and start generating more and more tension and really push yourself further and further into that box or to the floor. What you'll find is that although you're not really moving, you can feel a lot more force and a lot more rooting going on with your lower body and your feet. That's then going to create a much stronger base for you overall to then press with. Slowly increase the amount of tension for 5-10 seconds at a time, repeat for about 3-4 to four sets before you're pressing, and notice how much power and tension you're able to create just by thinking about pushing underneath the bell rather than just pressing the bell overhead. And finally, tip number three is gonna be thinking about the trigger. So a lot of times when we see people press overhead, especially beginners, they understand that their working arm should be really tight, gripping tightly as they press overhead but a lot of the times their free hand is totally limp and relaxed. By keeping their free arm relaxed, they're really neglecting one entire side of their body. This typically leads to a lot of leaning or side bending and also leads to a lot of inefficiency and a weaker press overall. Instead, what you wanna think about doing is creating some tension in that free arm and also right before you press, you wanna think about squeezing your fist as tight as you can as you press the bell overhead. Then as you lower the dumbbell or the kettlebell back down, what you wanna think about doing is releasing that grip a bit, but still keeping tension throughout that arm. And then again, right before you press up overhead, squeeze that fist as tight as possible. It not only creates a whole bunch more stability throughout that free arm, but it also just signals to your brain that you're about to lift something heavy and that it should probably recruit a lot more musculature. So next time you press overhead, really think about that free arm and keeping it tight. And as you press, think about squeezing that fist tight in order to generate tension right at that right moment. So to recap, the three tips are gonna be one, keep that forearm really vertical. Number two, you wanna think about wedging yourself underneath the bell rather than just pressing the bell overhead. And number three, you wanna really keep in mind that free arm and the trigger. I hope this video helped you out. If you're looking for a little bit more information in this area, definitely check out strongfirst.com and find a local instructor in your area or find a course and certification in your area as well. It's gonna help out tremendously in terms of gaining overall strength. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments 
comment section below, hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, peace, love, and muscles.